Hey everyone, okay, so full disclaimer, this is not sponsored, just so you know. Okay, so this video is gonna be longer than normal ones, so I'll put a timestamp down there, so if you want, you can just skip ahead to the products and, you know, all that stuff. You don't have to listen to me go on if you don't want to. Now, originally this video was gonna be about a totally different skincare system, and I posted a video saying I was gonna use the skincare line for three months. Unfortunately, a week in, my skin was very, very unhappy. I had breakouts, I had sensitivity issues, I had a lot of redness. Now, there was nothing wrong with the line of their products, perfectly fine, they just didn't suit me at all. And I'd already been struggling since my very late 30s, 38 onwards, and I'm 40 now, with breakouts. I was experiencing breakouts again, and I hadn't experienced them since my very early 20s when things were under control. And it was puzzling to me because I was still using the same skincare that I had used pretty much from most of my adult life, but they weren't working anymore and I didn't know why. And after this horrendous irritation and breakouts, I just thought, that's it, I'm done with that. So what I did was, I just used the Drunk Elephant Peaky Bar and Marula Oil for a week. And it was around about five days in that I actually decided I will switch and try Drunk Elephant for three months. The reason being is that I knew they were super gentle. I knew they weren't gonna be irritating and my skin was irritated. Now within the first five days or so, my skin was back to calm down. There was no more active breakouts, nothing. I was just using the Peaky Bar, which is the white sort of soap-like bar, and it's not soap, so there's no irritating ingredients. And I was just using the Marula Oil, three drops at night, that's it. So I decided to embark on a three month course. Now ironically that, and this is important, is that after the three months had expired, I then got an email to say that Drunk Elephant, because I was getting my stuff from the States, to then say that Drunk Elephant were officially launching in the UK and would I like to come along to their um, launch party with Cold Beauty? Yes, I will, thank you very much. And I hate traveling. I hate leaving my location, right? So you can imagine what it's like to try and get me somewhere. It doesn't happen. I don't go anywhere for anything apart from this. And I, it was a wonderful launch party. Um, Colt Beauty did an amazing job. And I got to finally meet Tiffany, who is the creator of Drunk Elephant. And I got to sit down and talk with her. And there's a few things that struck me about her as a person. The first one is, she's so very, very gentle. And you, you, I think a lot of people who are a bit sensitive to this can understand. If you've ever seen her speak, you will understand what I mean. There is a gentleness about her and she's very gentle and very, very kind. And it's quite rare to see that in a beauty brand now or a skincare brand, because even though the world that we live in with all these beauty products should be a beautiful, kind world, it really isn't. Oftentimes, behind the scenes, it's the ugliest community you've ever seen. And we witness it here on YouTube with the beauty channels. So to find, to meet somebody who was so gentle and kind was beautiful. Funny as well. So just bear that in mind. Very funny and very kind. So I instantly loved her. She was also wearing no foundation. She had eye makeup on, bit of lip gloss, no foundation, no pores, no skin issues, nothing and I went to that event now in real life as in this video I have nothing on my skin whatsoever so in real life when again when I film I use mineral makeup on myself but in real life I don't wear anything so I came to this event and again nothing on my face at all but her skin was perfect it looked like father time I had not touched it no sun damage no issues no, no pores I mean I mean no pores and just the most beautiful attitude. So I fell a little bit in love and I had a lovely conversation with her and it was just the most wonderful, wonderful experience. And it was just a little bit of serendipity that I had used these products now for over three months and then I finally get to meet her as well, which was absolutely wonderful. So what I'm gonna do is give you a kind of a small overview, not very scientific or anything like that, but just give you my thoughts. Now I have everything here and they are mine, but the one thing I don't have is the bronzy. And the reason being is because it was so good, I used every single drop of it, everything gone. And it breaks my heart, it's gone, I have to get more. 
because that stuff is the most concentrated bronzer you've ever seen. A tiny, tiny drop in a moisturizer, in a um, your sunscreen, whatever, over your face, it evens your skin out and gives you a slightly sun-kissed look. And it is beautiful on almost all skin tones, barring the fairest, fairest of them all. And you know who you are instantly. So let's make a start. Generally speaking, there are three cleansers. Now, there is the Peaky Bar, which is the white bar. There is the Juju Bar, which is the gray, kind of grayish, grayish color. And then there is Bestie number nine. So this is the liquid cleanser. And again, depending on your preference, now generally speaking, I prefer to use the bars. I like the way, you know, I like that old kind of fashion soap kind of lathering up and rubbing your face. Now, the gray one, which is the Juju Bar, this has a slight exfoliating property in it. Don't apply it directly to your face like this. You do it in your hands and clean your face with it. Um, I love that one, that's my favorite of them all, but I use both, I alternate. Now, I cleanse my skin twice a day. John Elephant says you don't need to if you don't want to, once at night is enough. I like to clean my face twice a day. So the way I go about it is I use this in the morning and I use the white one at night. It's just my preference. This is amazing and it's beautiful. It will take off your makeup, no worries. But my preference is the bars. I like the convenience of them and I just love the old fashioned soaping up. So. The moisturizers, there are kind of three real moisturizers in the lot. Now, bear in mind that Drunk Elephant is built around the concept, I believe, of mixing a cocktail, which is applying lots and lots of products in your palm that you want to create your ideal cocktail and then whack it on your face and apply it. Now, none of the line contains any silicones. In general, silicones aren't a bad thing. You know, they're not gonna hurt your skin, but some people are very, very sensitive to them. I am sensitive to them in skincare. I don't enjoy them. They feel very silky and sleek, but I don't like them. And there is some thought that they can slow down or block the absorption of other active ingredients. So there's nothing like that in here. And I'll put a list as well. They, they admit the suspicious six. So, you know, fragrance, alcohols, it's a very, very minimal line with very minimal products when you look at um, how big the company really is now. So moisturizers, the way I view it there is, first of all, you've got the um, Proteini, which is the polypeptide cream. So this is this one. You get 50 mils of product in here. Then you've got La Retro, which is the whipped, La La Retro, sorry, which is the whipped cream. Um, and then you've got the Bee Hydra. So, Depending on, you don't need them all, but depending on your skin and its needs, the way I look at it is the Bee Hydra is the most, um, is the least emollient of the lot and is perfect for me if I want to wear something in the day or my skin is a bit dry. I'm not a skincare fanatic during the day. It is literally vitamin C and sunscreen, that's it. Nothing else, my skin doesn't need it. I'll wait till the night. But this is great if it's slightly dry. The way to view these is this is for firming the skin. So think about the Proteini as more firming of the skin. Think about it that way. And think of La La Retro more as ultra hydration. So I tend to alternate these. And what I do is I tend to do like a month on and a month off. So for a month, I will use this in a cocktail mix with other things. And then once I've done that, I'll switch to this for a month and use that with a cocktail thing. So I'm kind of getting the best of both worlds. So that's how I view it. But my preference is absolutely the protein. I think that's the most important of them because you're getting the most bang for your buck in terms of skin firmness. And most of us over 25 want to have firmer skin. Um, this is probably the cult product, which is the marula oil. It's the virgin marula oil. Now, this is beautiful. It is my favorite, favorite, along with, um, I'll show you in a second, is my favorite of them all. I love it. I mix this in a cocktail every night, two to three drops. This will last you, what, eight months, nine months? Easy, easy. It is, you get a huge amount of product, you get 50 or 30 mils of product in here, but because you're using two, three drops, it's gonna last you a while. And that brings me on to another subject. The way that all the products are made is that when you release them to pump out a, pro, a bit of product, 
you get the bare minimum because the whole philosophy is to create your own cocktail. So products like this that are 50 mils or 30 mils are gonna last you five, six months because you're using so little and creating a cocktail of beautiful ingredients to work with your skin. So even though the brand is high end, it becomes more affordable when you think that you're only needing to replenish twice a year. So that's another way to look at it. But if you have stressed skin, irritated skin, dry skin, or sensitized skin, marula oil, forget the rest, marula oil and a cleanser and let your skin just rest for a bit. So if you want to exfoliate, you've got two options. You've got the TLC, which is a framboose, and this is a 12% um, alpha hydroxy acid, and I believe a 1% beta hydroxy acid. And then you've got the TLC, which is a Sakari baby facial, which is 25% alpha hydroxy acid and 2% beta hydroxy. This can be used every single night, absolutely. So the uh, TLC can be used every single night, blended in on its own or with a cocktail. This is your once a week treatment. Now, I don't use this neat, although you can. I tend to use one pump of this, three drops of marula oil, and one drop of the Hydra, and I leave it on for about 30 minutes, sometimes more. Not recommended, but sometimes I do. That's how I use that one, but it really is a once a week treatment. It's a high percentage without anything else in it that's irritating, because you've already got irritating um, alpha hydroxy acids, they're not bad for the skin, but the, the whole process of them can be a bit irritating because of what they do. So you've got a whole host of um, antioxidants and anti-irritants that help to counteract that, the same as you do here. So this is every day, this, this is once a week. And again, you can combine this with any other product that you want and whack it on at night. Vitamin C, the most hated product for me ever is vitamin C. I'd found one a while ago, a year or so ago, was very faithful because it didn't cause me breakouts. Vitamin C, hello blackheads, there you are. Didn't like it, never liked it. So, C firma, this is what you get. Now, a lot of people have mentioned that when you, when you first pump this out, there's a, a slight orange hue to it, which a lot of people think means it's oxidized already. It hasn't, there are other ingredients in here that give it that tint. So don't worry about it. Now, Drunk Elephant did some tests, and even after 90 days of testing, the product still had a high amount of concentration of the vitamin C. But it is the one product out of the entire range that you cannot stock up on. So don't be buying three bottles of this. Buy one, use it, and then repurchase. Don't stock up on this. You can, of course, use it after the three-month period, but it's not recommended. They recommend using it within 90 days for maximum potency. Now, they recommend using this in the morning with or combined with your sunscreen. Absolutely, but you don't need to just use it then. You can pop it into any part of your night serum. Absolutely, I recommend you do that. It's amazing. It's When, someone, when, when, when something says that they are gonna brighten your skin, you're like, hmm, I don't think so. This will brighten your skin. It is, a, the, of all the things to brighten, this is what, this is the one that will brighten. It is phenomenal, phenomenal. Twice daily I use that mixed in with my sunscreen and then at night mixed in with a cocktail, which I'll show you in a second. You've got two choices of eye cream. I'm sorry it's so bright in here. I don't know what to do. So you've got the Sea Tango multivitamin eye cream or the, um, is it Shabba? We're gonna call it Shabba Complex Eye Serum. Depending on your needs, I have a preference to the vitamin C one, and I don't use it just under my eyes. I use it under my eyes as the final step, but I also apply a pump of this into my entire cocktail because I think this is the best product ever. It has eight, it's an eight peptide blend. You've got vitamin C's, Five different blends, I think, of vitamin C's, though don't quote me on that. Let's have a look. Eight peptide blend, vitamin, uh, multivitamin eye cream with the power 5C, I believe so. It is, hang on, five forms of vitamin C. C, I know my shit, even though I don't. All I care, do you know, it's like riding, driving a car. I don't care how it works, as long as it gets me there. And this is my favorite. This is more, I think, more for your hydration levels and things like that under the eyes. It's still great, I alternate. 
I alternate everything month on month off. This is my favorite and I'll show you how I use it in a bit. And finally, well, almost finally, because I don't have the bronzy, um, two sunscreens, depending on your preference. You have the, um, the original, which is the Umbra Sheer Physical Defense, which I've spoken about for years now as my sunscreen. It's amazing. And you also have the um, Umbra Tint, which has a slightly um, deeper hue to it. So the other one is completely transparent. And this one has a slight bronzy tint to it which you may be able to just pick up on here. Depends on your skin tone. Generally speaking, if you have very, very pale skin, again, just go for the translucent one, the original. If you have light skin to tan skin, this is gonna be great because it gives you a little bit of coverage as well. So you can pick and choose. And you've got a lip um, treatment as well, which I've never, ever, ever bothered with my lips. Ever, don't care, but I pop it on anyway, just cause. So. Let me explain my cocktail. So I'll explain my three month, uh, my month in, month out cocktails. So TLC mixed in with the uh, pump of the um, Protini, two to three drops of marula oil, and one pump of the Sea Tango eye cream, and one pump of this. That's one month, a whole month of skincare, okay? For the other month, what I do is I use the Lala with a TLC, with a Marula oil, with, um, not that one, with um, the Sea Firmer and this just as an eye treatment. So I alternate depending, because I just think that that way, rather than doing every single thing, which is my natural kind of thing, is I'm giving my skin the firming stuff for the one month, then I'm moving on and giving it something else. Now, the only thing I've not mentioned here is treatment products. So at the moment, um, this is the entire line of Drunk Elephant, but I also add a tiny amount of azelaic acid, or, and I alternate that as well, with um, tretinin cream. Depends on how you feel. I apply a tiny, tiny pea size amount into the cocktail and slap everything on. That is my routine. These are my products and this video isn't sponsored. This is my skin after three full months of using the entire um, skincare line. That's my skin. I'm not getting, I don't wake up anymore to daily breakouts. I don't have any issues with ugly blackheads anymore, which was a real worry with anything vitamin C, nothing at all. Your skin looks brighter with that. This is my face. I wear it every day delicious and this is what I use and even though we're now past that three month period I'm still going to use it this is what I use my life is simpler and I prefer and I love just mixing you know nonsense up and slapping it on but there you go that is it these are the products that I use every day every day hope you enjoyed that thank you so much and all the information and all that is in the description bar below see you next time bye bye